Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. We are going to continue our doodle series on Winnie the Pooh characters because Christopher Robin is being released this weekend. So let's go ahead and get started. So far we've done Pooh and Tigger, so let's draw Eeyore. All right, so let's go ahead and just start with laying out his entire body structure. So we got a little round circle down here. And then I'm gonna build up off of that circle and go down underneath those two circles. And make a circle here and a circle here. And that's about all I wanna do to go ahead and lay everything out. So starting with his face, what I'd like to do is go ahead and do this line that goes all the way down. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and give him an eye line because he has bigger eyes than Tigger and Pooh. And put one eye here, one oval, and then I'm gonna put another eye right here. So they're somewhat close, but then again, they're a little bit further apart. After this, what I'd like to do is go ahead and let's do his nose before we start filling it in his eyes. We're just placing everything right now. And keep this line right here. Bring this down. So keep this overall shape. And then this part, this little part of his smile is gonna go in and we're gonna create a dimple. Then we're gonna go right here and create a dimple as well. After we create those two dimples, I'm gonna go outwards and back in. Same over here, I'm gonna go out and in. And that's basically his whole entire mouth that we get to see. And then I'm gonna jump right here and make a little circle. And I'm gonna jump here and make a little circle. I'm gonna go right here into his eye and make his eyelid and then another eyelid. And then these eyelids are a little bit thick. His actual eyelash line, they go off to the side and they're pretty thick. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw his pupil, which is just pretty flat. And I'm gonna draw his pupil here as well. Which is also pretty flat. And then I'm gonna go underneath his eye. Keep those distinct eyelids. And I'm gonna go underneath and give a little bit of a bag here. A bag here as well. jump up here and give him his little eyebrows so I'm gonna make I'm gonna start up just a little bit above the eye and make this eyebrow and then the thing about his eyebrow is it's got little spikes so it looks like it's a little bit hairy so we just make it into three little separate spots same thing for over here except we don't have to get the spikes on this side because his hair on top of his head will be covering up this eyebrow mostly. All right, so let's go ahead and shape up his face just a little bit more. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna round out this part, this part of his head and then bring this down. So I round out his head and curve this back into his, his mouth. I'm gonna jump over here, do the same thing, round it out and then curve downwards. And then I'm gonna jump on top right here. I'm gonna make a little bit of bangs going into his eyebrow. And I'm just gonna round this over here and then I can bring out this piece of hair, this piece of hair, this piece of hair, this piece, this piece, this piece, He's just got this crazy little ball of hair on top. So there's our little pieces of hair. Now we're gonna go ahead and from back on this side of the hair, I'm gonna go out. Bring this to a point down here. And I'm gonna go back in into his head and go up. All right. 
And then I'm going to jump inside right here. Curve this part down. Make this a little bit more pointy. And then I'm going to jump on this side of the hair. So we're going to bring it out. Curve it, leave that point. Go in. So that goes into the hair, and then this part should be going in. So this should be rest this ear should be resting alongside of his head right here. And then I will jump in right here and bring this down and give that separation to the ear there. And I'm gonna bring it down this ear a little bit more. that thick so it should be thin on top and thick in the middle area like this also have two lines right on top of his eyebrows one here and one there and the thing about this line I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker going down the middle of his face and we're gonna give him stitches right here and here because he is a stuffed animal I'm right there All right, so let's start at his neck. We're gonna go ahead and bring down this side of his neck here. And I'm actually going to curl around his arm. One arm there. And then I'm actually going to jump right here, just a little bit above the curled arm we just made. And go up and bring it down and go back into the arm. So it looks like we just kind of made a claw. And we're actually going to make a line there and a line here. So let's jump over here. We're gonna bring down this arm, go down, bring it out, make it a little thicker, and then go in. And then I'm going to make this line here, and this line right here, and another line right here. After that, I'm going to bring down his tummy. Bring down his tummy. Then let's go to his leg where we're going to round out, right this one. I'm going to go underneath this hand. Bring out his leg, circle up, and into his leg. And then we have a curve, a line here, and then a line right there. Keep this lumpy and this line. And we're gonna curve this one underneath. Curve it outwards. Go up. Curve it down. And into his body. Let's shape up this foot a little bit more. So we're going to go up. I'm going to make a line going in here. Bring down this line. And bring down this line. Keep this flowing with each other. So then this should be all like that. And then we're going to draw his tail which he's holding in his hand so I'm gonna go ahead and draw like the back part of his tail where he has the little nail button so we make this part right here and a little circle at the end of the tail and then this the other part is going down so I make one side of the tail and jump back up make the other side and then it's making the bow so the bow looks like this, where it's gonna we're gonna curve the top, bring down, bring down the middle part, and then we're gonna go up and go back this way and go in, make a lump here, 
and then go back. And then this one, we're gonna go cur curl up. And I'm gonna jump behind this one. Bring this one in, curve down and connect. And then his hair is gonna be like off the side over here, which is just his tail. So we got a line right there, and also two lines in the crease of the middle of the bow. We're gonna divide up his stomach right here, and then his stomach's also gonna go, go across. And we're gonna see a little bit of his stomach here. And then his leg will be going up, I mean down and then up. And same thing over here, we're gonna bring this in, cut it off right there. And then we're gonna go into his leg, go down and then bring it up. And then he's got stitches everywhere. So we got a couple stitch here, two stitches, a stitch here, two stitches here. We've got a stitch here, two stitches I mean. And then we've got this part of his leg is halfway down. So as this one goes halfway and then out the side and then a stitch, 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 a st two stitches right here and a stitch, 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 and then a stitch, two stitches. All right. I'm going to jump into a time lapse and show you how I would color Eeyore. And there we go. There's how to draw Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. I hope you guys will check out the Winnie the Pooh tutorial, the Tigger tutorial, and I hope you drew along with this one. And hopefully next week we can go ahead and do Piglet for next week's tutorial. Yes, go see Christopher Robin this weekend. I hope you all have a most wonderful day. Bye!